everybody. I have a 15 minute session I'm doing for a client. So I'm going to read the goals here and get tuned in. Okay. I'm developing my spiritual gifts and abilities and starting a spiritually based business. I'm already healing a lot of outdated beliefs as well as past life stuff holding me back. I am a star seed. Lyran, Arcturian, Mintakin. I've never heard of that. Mintakin. Okay. And really connecting with so many beings. The guidance is not super clear at this point. So basically, I'm looking for personalized info on anything that may be holding me back from your perspective. I feel I'm here to do really big things and have a big spiritual purpose, and I want to live that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really excited about everything you had to say. So I'm just tuning into what, what we're working with here. <sighs> okay. Good for you for starting your own spiritually based business. The world needs more spiritually based businesses and for working through all these outdated beliefs, past life stuff, connecting with so many beings. I mean, you're really on all the right tracks. So there's something holding you back. Okay. There's just so much optimism. <laughs> it's great. Okay. I'm going to get tuned in here. So, for starters, there is something here, but it has no visual image, no sound per se. It's sort of like, there's all this activity going on around me, and you could describe it like green drums, little ones that you could hit with both your hands, and there's like, I don't know, 20 of them or so and people sitting down. Um, and I'm kind of on a platform raised up and I'm walking. Sounds like a lot going on, right? But it's all just, it's not the depths of what's truly going on here. And so when I walk into your energy field, past these drums and all the sounds, um, I'm entering into kind of like a circular space, it's quite large, and it's a bit of a fog in here. And there's no sound to it at all. There's no real... <sighs> it's like looking for a place to... If you're trying to climb up the side of a, a, a cliff, you need places to put your hands and your feet in order to keep going up. But it's like reaching a point that's a bit of a challenge because you're not finding that location here in order to keep moving. It's almost like... What's holding you back is almost like a neutral moment of just maybe you need to just simply be still. But this is what I'm experiencing right now. I'm going to keep going into this so we can learn more, okay? All right. Being still, yes. When you are, the more still you are, the more you learn about inner silence. Inner silence without falling asleep, right? You'll tune into some very deep stuff within yourself, deeper than you have gone thus far. And there's some, it's like coming through this fog, I'm, I'm seeing what is, she's a really heavy set, well-rounded woman, okay? She's got sort of an African presence to her. And again, there's something about drums, but she's not playing drums. She's just presenting herself and she's part of the white in the fog. She's almost got kind of, I mean, her, if, if she had kind of like um, just a, a long white robe on that doesn't close over the front of her, there's kind of like a pure white outline around her. 
she's old, very, very, very old, but she looks extremely healthy for her age of what could be 150. <laughs> I mean, she looks really old, but she looks like she has strong bones and strong muscles, a strong presence, but also reserved. She's not going to make herself known or make it easy for you to find her or reach her because that's part of your development, part of your the development of your sensory skills. That's why things are so muted in here because you have to become still in order to access or develop the skills to get to that next thing. So we are at the next hand you know, the little part where, where it jets out, where we can put our hand here, you know, and then the next little part. So we are in there, but it also feels like we're not. Like, like nothing's happening, but yet the more still you are, the more silent you are, the more you are shown, the more is revealed. Also, it's taking you deeper inside yourself. And these drums are, it's almost like a distraction holding you at a certain... Um, dimensional uh, frequency the drums are kind of i mean to me walking in here i immediately i just they're distractions i immediately say okay that's distraction just going to keep moving but it's appropriate at different levels of development that those drums are appropriate but where what this is all about the depths of what this is about you're not going to find it with the drums you got to go further you got to go deeper this is getting so interesting <laughs> okay and i'm feeling it here particularly around i mean it's in the depths of you it's in deeper than your heart deeper than your solar plexus <sighs> even into sacral chakra okay so it's kind of in the core region She's, this African woman has many forms, many presentations of herself. She's a spirit, okay? She's not like a reptilian shapeshifter. And she's not, I was just like, oh, do you have one of those forms? <laughs> she's got many forms, you can tell that, but I... Let's see if she's got that form. No, she's she's not saying anything about that. <laughs> but she's definitely a spirit. She just got so much body. And she she really I mean there's something great about it because it's like the female form. And it's we're talking the female form worshipped and it's the it's the woman that's the full figured woman she is the full figured woman she's a goddess she's a goddess figure she's a divine feminine goddess figure she's a, a deity and she's really echoing the the sound of w woman the woman's form Every woman on the planet is a deity figure. Every woman is representing the form of the woman. And she really expresses the feminine aspects of her body. And her shapeliness. Even her age does not detract from her as a woman. Boy, she's got so many things to talk about. And she's deep. And boy, I mean, you could go hang out with her and, I mean, 50 years go by and you still haven't even skimmed the surface. I'm asking her why she is here and what is the connection between you, you both. Hmm. 
Does it have to do with a sense? I, I feel what it's like to have a sense of belonging. A place called home. Looking for it even. Wanting to find it even more so. And there's something about her presence because she represents a woman. She represents pure love. Like the best grandma ever. <laughs> She's got that energy to her. And not just grandma, but caretaker of children as well. And because of these energies, she feels like home. She feels like home. And there's just such a, like, a cuddling joy and softness and depth and respect. It's just, she expresses so many different energies of value and comfort. And she shows me us lingering here with her energy, but there's more here than her. Because there's, there's sort of like an upgrade, an energy upgrade going on beneath the surface. And it's, I mean, you're developing gifts. It's clear. You may, it may not become, you may not become aware of all that is taking place right now. One thing's for sure, you shouldn't, I'm going to ask her this question, but one way to look at, are you holding yourself back or is everything moving forward? It's just potentially stagnant feeling, although there's a lot going on inside. There's a lot developing, there's a lot of upgrades, there's a lot of processing, there's a lot of downloading. And it takes time for all this to cycle through and then for you to have access to it. So, but I'm going to ask her about you holding yourself back, okay? Or anything that's holding you back. Or is this the message? Is this... <sighs> the bigger picture. Okay. Boy, she's... She is smart. <laughs> she's clever, okay? She's tricksy, which is good. So she's becoming a statue. As though she never existed. As though I was just talking to myself this whole time. And when she disappears, I feel emotional. I feel like a part of myself has died. That was closer to me than every person I'd ever met that was, cl that met, that was close to me in this life. And when she turns into statue, it's almost like life itself just died. Again, this has to do with a sense of belonging. So when she is removed from the equation, where is your sense of belonging? You don't need her. She's not the bridge that you need to feel at that at-home sensation. And she's starting to... Her energy, her conscious is clearing the air and it's starting to feel like a very long and desolate journey alone. The enlightened one often walks alone. It feels hollow in a way. It feels cold. And I can feel that in my heart. 
I can feel that in my emotions. And there's a pain associated with it. Even if it's more of like an energy pain, like an emotional one. Something felt deep in the core of the soul even. But yet so reflected in this now moment. In the present. Not associated with a past life, but yet associated with all lives. And she's talking as in she's expressing this energy of teaching how to find the warmth within, how to find home within yourself, not to look for it out there, but to find it within. And I tell this spirit woman how refreshing it is to have people to talk to in the energy realm, people to help you see what you are struggling to see right now, to help you find these aspects so you can continue to be more enlightened. And what's so wrong with wanting to feel a connection? Aren't we all connected? see what she says man she is she's a lot she's a lot she's special okay she's like really special you don't come across a consciousness like this every day I mean she's above and beyond here She is showing me water. And it's a very narrow stream, but it's moving quite quickly down a very narrow stream, the water is. And it's moving through the rocks and it's moving past and going down and it's moving. And she's talking about what stops the flow of water. And when the flow of water is stopped, well, then what happens? It's almost like the natural flow of everything. It flows. And even if there's a natural circumstance that, that inspires the flow to change, that was an event that was a very powerful and important event that altered the flow that inspired a new direction and once the new direction is found things start to flow again until another event that stops the flow but that event is essential in order to redirect the flow and this is the nature of life and the soul journey and the pathway. She shows me how wonderful it is when things are flowing and it doesn't matter how what is blocking your path it doesn't matter you just flow right through it but when something comes and now a dam is put up or some event happens and the flow changes it changes everything and that could feel like a sad time a sad moment in time could even feel like it's out of your control or that it was done to you without your permission kind of thing but that's only teaching the flow a new direction. And everything is part of every moment. So even if a dam's put up and it alters the flow, everything is still flowing. 
It's just flowing in a new way. And it's not just the water that's flowing. It's the movement of animals. It's the movement of the weather patterns. It's everything. So if you see beyond just this little narrow brook and its single journey that has starts and stops and you start to see how those starts and stops affect everything else around it just this one single thread of existence is affecting everything everything is always flowing nothing is being held back even if you say that this water is definitely being held back a dam was put here it's only learning a new direction and everything else is participating in that new direction not just the water everything <sighs> all right that's the message that's pretty cool <sighs> That was really intense. There's even energy around my third eye and just around the top of my head as well that's just circulating. I feel like there's some profound discoveries to be found here in this message and even energetic shifts with it too. This was really moving. <laughs> Not just because we're talking about water and stuff. <laughs> it was actually emotionally moving. It was beautiful and deep. Thank you so much for connecting with me and sharing in this experience and sharing it with others. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. And uh, for, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, everybody, have a beautiful day.